Welcome to a 2024 setup tour video. Where should we start? Let's go setup by setup and then we'll talk about kind of what's in each setup. The first setup, this is my streaming setup. This entire thing has been optimized for, for my streaming. Um, that is connected to the PC here under the desk. Uh, just very super convenient. I have both the power switches right here. This is to this PC and then this one is to that one. Um, really, this is a fantastic setup for me. I can be able to edit, I can be able to stream, and it's very separated. Everything I want to do, if I need to make quick changes, I have the keyboard, the mouse, the monitors, and it's as simple as turning my chair, and it's super nice. Um, I really wanted to make my setup like this as well, because while I was gaming, my previous setup had three monitors surrounding my gaming monitor, which was just so much, and it was so, I get headaches literally after like an hour of using that setup just because of all the light in my face. So let's start with the PC itself. You don't need to get this right. footage. This is in B-roll. Look, B-roll. Um, but now this PC is a pre-built by NZXT. This is a streaming PC. Uh, it's an eight core processor from AMD, uh, 16 gigabytes, and then a 3070 GPU. Yeah, the Streaming Plus PC in black uh, from NZXT. Let's go over the peripherals. I know that a lot of people like to make certain that you have good peripherals. Uh, this gaming mouse was actually adopted from my previous gaming setup. I used it mostly for Minecraft, uh, MOBAs, things like that. But then when I switched to Valorant, I switched mice. We'll get into that a little bit later. But this is the Logitech G502 Plus, not Plus, just the Logitech G502 um, wireless. And then the keyboard is from Corsair. I really wanted to get a Corsair one because it does integrate with the stream decks. Um, but basically, this is the Cors Corsair K K55 Core RGB membrane wired gaming keyboard. Uh, everything that I have with the audio does come from this. It's the Rodecaster Pro 2. Um, absolutely amazing. One of the few devices, I know that there's more that have come out now, but one of the few devices that had two USB ports that were completely programmable. So I can be able to plug it in both my PCs and have different audio channels for different things. Uh, it's super nice. It actually lets me put the speakers, which are the Mackie, what are they? The Mackie C R3X. Um, and then I also have the CR8S um, eight inch subwoofer underneath, but I absolutely love it. And then also for the audio, I do have the Rode mic. Uh, it's on the Elgato low profile arm. So it's really easy to just move around, get right up in my face so I can be able to talk or if I'm gaming, it just goes right under my monitor. So it's nice and hidden. I, um, all of this, the gaming, the basically everything also goes through my still series. This is the Artis Nova, not pro, nothing. This is just the Artis Nova one. Love them, wired, great headset, really recommend them. What else? Oh, for the streaming, I also wanted to mention the cameras. I have the Elgato 4K. Um, it's like the Elgato Pro, super nice camera. Best webcam I've ever used. It looks like, it looks like I have a super nice camera in my setup. When in reality, it's a webcam. And then I do have a second camera angle up here. Uh, that's just the face cam, the Elgato face cam. It hasn't been being used lately because the cable that it came with broke and we need to get another 3.0, um, a 3.0 USB cable that has enough output to be able to work. It's really annoying, really annoying. Okay, um, oh, let's talk about the monitors. They're a complete mystery. This one is from Acer and this one is from ONN. 
I bought this one on Amazon for as cheap as I could find a monitor, and I bought that one at Walmart for as cheap as you could find a monitor. Yeah. The Stream Deck's here. I have two. I have just the Mark I Stream Deck 18 key. Super nice. It works. I can be able to use it for like all my music, my streaming. If I ever need a clip, I press this button. This will switch between my scenes and then this will, then these buttons down here will do all of the different um, sources that I have on my scenes. So super nice if I want to change my ranks, anything like that on the fly. I love this thing. This plus is a game changer. A lot of the times I'll have music playing in my stream and with one tap, now I can hear the music. Now I can't hear the music. Now I can, now I can't. Now you can, now you can. Or now you can, now you can't. And it's super intuitive. I love it. Um, I can mute myself in Discord. I can control individual volumes because as much as I love my guy Jack Zero Gaming, the man's mic is so loud on Discord, I have to turn him down like 10% than everyone else. But it's so nice because I can do that on the fly, no issues. And then on top of that, I can also have complete control of my lighting, everything with buttons. I can make them super, super bright. I can make them super low. It, it really doesn't matter. And I can turn them on and off or all on, all off, but super nice, super handy. Okay, and then let's go to the gaming gear. Let's go to the stuff that everyone wants to see. It does have two different peripherals, both from Logitech. This is the Logitech Pro, and then this is the Logitech Super Light Pro gaming mouse. So I just have the same in the same line and everything. Uh, super nice, clicky keys. I love them. Uh, also, all my gaming does go through the same audio device. So the same headset, the same mic, the same everything, super nice. Okay. All right, so this gaming monitor is probably one of the best investments I've ever made. This is the 32 inch 1440p Samsung Odyssey curved monitor. I love this thing. My wife loves this thing. Anytime she uses my setup, she wants to steal it. I think it's absolutely amazing. A lot of people have given me crap saying that 1080p is better and that I should be playing on 27 inches. If you think that's real, if you think like one is better than the other, let me know in the comments because genuinely I want to know. I want to know what you guys think. Um, and then obviously for um, gaming with Call of Duty or any other, I have the Xbox Elite controller. This thing also super nice. Uh, this is the Elite Series 2, it says on the back, I guess. Love this thing. Never had an issue with it. Um, just absolutely a, a freaking amazing, amazing controller. Honestly, like, even though mouse and keyboard is so fun, so precise, I think in my heart I will always be a controller gamer. Oh, and then let's go back over here and talk about the PC. I love this PC. It took me years to actually be able to save up for it. I spent way too much money on it. It was during COVID. I just got a huge bonus for Christmas and I bought me a PC. I actually, I did build, yeah, I built this PC. I actually did all the custom work. So anything blue on the case, that was all done by me. Um, this case does not come in this color, but I wanted it blue, so I made it blue. The stats will be on the screen, but it has a, a 24 core GPU, 6900 XT Radeon, and then also the processor is like 16 cores, uh, it has 32 gigabytes of RAM, absolutely beast of a machine. All of the stats are right here and also in the description. Actually, yeah, this is a perfect time to go into the sponsored segment. So here is the sponsor of today's video, Desky, which could not have been possible without them. Today, I want to thank our sponsor, Desky. Desky was able to send me one of their desks to be able to review and use in my setup. And I cannot emphasize enough that this video would not have been possible without them. Picking out my desk for this setup was extremely easy due to the fact that they have over 180 combinations of customizable desktops to suit any space. 
Their wooden range is sustainably sourced and free from any harmful chemicals and also is absolutely gorgeous to boot. Using the desk is absolutely simple with their new in-house designed Bluetooth controller which features their Desky app connectivity, their voice control, RGB color settings, sedentary alarm, and four memory presets. Not to mention doing the cable management on this desk was absolutely a breeze. They have an integrated cable and data channel powering up to nine plugs, meaning I could be able to hook everything up all on the desk which means I only have two cables, my ethernet and power cable running from the desk to the outlet. This desk is extremely stable, even at the maximum height, even though I'll probably never use it at its maximum height because it is so tall. I kind of look like a T-Rex trying to. But with that in mind, it is extremely powerful with its dual motor design providing a weight capacity of up to 308 pounds. I was able to add everything on my desk, all of my gear, and not have to worry about the desk giving way because it is more than capable of holding up everything. Not to mention that the height range is extremely low and extremely high with 23.6 inches up to 49.2 inches. This desk has been an absolute game changer for me and this setup, and honestly, I cannot thank Desky enough and I really do recommend them to anyone who, who is looking for a good sit and stand desk that is reliable. Chewie, what do you think about Desky? Debbie yeah, loves them. <laughs> all right. Now let's go around the room so we can be able to show off all the different things yeah. in the room. Uh, let's start with the you know elephant in the room, the guitars. I have nine guitars in this room. I have uh four seven right here uh, i actually did a lot of custom work on a lot of these um, some of them were given to me by the company for instance this taylor guitar um I, that was actually given to me by taylor when i was at one of my previous jobs working under taylor guitars so they gave me this um love these things so much i have a bass guitar here just absolutely amazing uh, coming over to these guitars, these are my pride and joys. I love these things so much. Uh, this is my American-made Fender Stratocaster. Um, this thing is amazing. Uh, it took me years to be able to save up for it. Bought it on a Black Friday deal. Um, absolutely love this thing. One of the most versatile guitars. You can play anything from hard rock to blues and this thing just handles it like a champ you have this switch here will actually switch between the different pickup rails has the typical five switches but then this one actually has a button here that will then change the configuration so you have five more switches on this guitar this thing is absolutely gorgeous with a it's almost like a sunburst but in blue and if you can't tell by this room, I really like the color blue. My acoustic guitar is an Epiphone. Uh, this is their GS model. It is a natural walnut finish all the way around, except this I believe is spruce. But I love this guitar. Um, gold accents, the trim, the bridge are just so gorgeous. Yeah. I was there in Spain for about two years while I was 18 and I carried this guitar around with me the entire time playing this thing. Um, absolutely love this thing. One of my pride and joys. I, one of the best acoustic guitars I've ever owned. Ah, all right, freaking baby. Literally, I set him down and he just sits there and paws up my feet until I pick him up. He does this while I'm gaming too. Cause you don't want me to win. <laughs> all right. Um, everything in this corner is all sentimental or made to help me uh, be able to relax at the end of the day and really be able to just kind of have a good center, I guess. But basically everything here is either sentimental or handmade or both. Uh, for instance, I and my wife made this, this owl um, on a date. This was given to me. Easter, 
I handcrafted, 3D printed the Halo mask and the Deadpool. A lot of this stuff has meaning to me. I don't want to go into all of the sentiment because it's sentimental. Like maybe, maybe another video, but a lot of this stuff is really just great. Um, I did talk about this down here. Um, there's a lamp that I made. I have a pretty good B-roll, but it's down there. I made that, 3D designed it, printed it out, and made that. Um, really, I think that's it, except here's this couch. I'm gonna sit on it. Okay. This couch is super nice. It's not necessarily the most comfy thing in the world, but it's really nice. It gives Chewy a place to relax. My wife will come in here and be on the couch while I'm streaming and gaming. Uh, it's really nice. I love the blue accents with the blanket, the pillows. And then of course I have above me this massive tapestry, which is so nice. I love it. It gives so much life to the room with just a very you know cheap way. And then I guess really the other thing is most of the lights are just either by day better or just stuff that we picked up on Amazon for really cheap that all co connect to the Alexa. So I can easily just say, oh, Alexa, turn off the light. And then obviously I can say, Alexa, turn on the light. And there you go. Everything, all the colors, it's all integrated into this room so that I can be able to have a very colorful, nice, but kind of more calm gaming setup so that really people can kind of come in and relax.